If you have been working with the JGPT API, you've probably already experienced that it's quite challenging to get structured data from the API. In this video, you will learn how to use function calling to get structured data back from the ChatGPT API. Now, function calling is much broader than this, but in this video, I'm just going to limit myself to only show you how to get structured data back from the API. There are other videos on my channel that explain more about function calling and that go way more in detail. Now, let's take a look at my code. And of course, if you want to download this code, you can find the link to this code in the description of this video. So let's take a look at the libraries I'm using. Of course, I'm using the OpenAI library. I'm also using a library that's called .env. And because of this library, I can store um, my ChatGPT API code in this file .env. And I'm also importing a library called JSON to extract values from the JSON that I get back from the API. Then here I'm initiating the function load.env just to load the API key from this file. And of course, I'm initiating the OpenAI object. Then you see that they have a prompt here, what's the population of the Netherlands? And if you normally run this um, prompt with ChatGPT, you will get something back like 17 million people are living in the Netherlands. But what we want in this video is that to only get the number 17 million back. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Then um, I'm going to tell a bit more about the function description later in this video. And then this is the part where we're actually going to make the API call. You see that I have an object here, um, completion, and this is exactly the same object as the object that you can find on the ChatGPT website. I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do to modify it to also include function calling. So let's copy this code. Let's paste it here. You see that the model that we're using is GPT 3.5 Turbo. You can also use uh, GPT 4 here. And I'm going to remove one of those two roles here. So let's remove this comma. Let's remove this line. And then I'm going to mention here that the role is user and the content is referring to, let me just take a look how this variable is called, uh, the prompt, of course, right? So this is referring to the prompt. Then the only difference here is when we're using function calling, we are referring to this function. And then you see we have a list here with functions. In this tutorial, we're just going to work with one function, but you have the possibility to use more functions. And of course, you have a name here, um, get population data, because what we want to do in this use case is get uh, the population of the Netherlands or population from any other country. And then the description of this function is very important because this is some kind of uh, a mini prompt, because here you're describing what you want to get in this object. Of course, this function has parameters. The type is always object and it has properties. And here you basically define the values that you want um, uh, the ChatGPT API to return to you. So in this case, you see that we have population, it's of type integer, and then you see here description, the number of inhabitants for this country. And you can just refer to this country because you spe already specify the country here in the prompt. Um, so I would not recommend to specify the country here because then you cannot uh, change the prompt anymore. So at this moment, um, we only want to get back an integer with the number of inhabitants for this country. And here we can also mention that the integer population is required. Now, the only thing that I'm going to change in the API call, so here I'm going to add a comma, then I'm going to say functions is equal to function descriptions at a comma, and then function underscore call is equal to auto. And then function call is auto. This is only applicable in case you use multiple functions. So in this case, we can just leave it like this. And then here in the argument functions, this is where we are de defining the actual JSON object with the response that we want to get. And let's also ch uh, try to change the function description. So here you see that we are asking for the population of this country. Let's just see if we can add a variable here. Uh, let's add country underscore name. And the name of the country is of type string. And the description is the name of the country. So in this case, we are not just um, asking for the number of inhabitants, but we're also asking for the country name, just to show you how you can edit the script and ask for more outputs. Um, then what we are doing, so you see that we are getting back completion here. And as always, I'm storing the result in output. 
which is equal to completion dot choices zero dot message. And this is what you also use if you want to get back um, the result of a normal API call. But in this case, I'm adding here population is equal to JSON dot loads. And this is of course where this JSON uh, library is uh, coming in. So JSON dot loads output dot function call dot arguments get population. And if we want to add another variable here, so we had just added um, a country name. So then we're gonna add country underscore name. And I'm gonna call this one country underscore name. And then of course, let's also print country name. Like this, country name is equal to get country name. And then of course, we also have to specify here that country name is also a required field to be returned. Okay, let's see if this API call works. So I'm gonna run the script. And you see that uh, the Netherlands has a bit more than 17 million inhabitants. Of course, the name is the Netherlands. And if we now change this, for example, uh, what's the population of, um, let's try Germany. Then you will see that uh, Germany has 83 million inhabitants and the name of the country is Germany. As I mentioned, if you want to download the code, you can find the link in the description. And if this video was useful for you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up.